Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan K Fist of Five. At the Yogi National First Gymnasium, I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. This is a super fight, uh, the K1 featherweight 57.5 kg. This is Tatsuya Tsubakihara and Takahito Nimi. Now, Tsubakihara, uh, after losing uh, to Gunji in December 2021, kind of Wanting to come back to prove himself that he could still do it versus um, we have Nimi, who's the, the crush featherweight champion. He's also the uh, voted MVP for crush right now. So. Yes. He's like a very... Uh, very <laughs> <impressive>. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And we know Tsubaki had a style of like... Oh, he's skipping away. This is a very... Energetic stuff. He just too. wants to get in there and crush him, basically. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Actually, this is an awesome beginning to play. Really? I think Tsubaki Hara is a little bit underestimated. I, I mean, because it looks like his style is just dancing around and tapping and stuff mm, like that. Mm, mm. I think he hits and kicks harder than it, than it like, initially seems like. Yeah. He might not look good. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. maybe look that, but I think he actually does. Mm. Which is fairly deceptive, to be honest. And fast, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These guys are featherweight, are you kidding me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like looking at heavyweights, like, you know, sped up in time. <laughs> yeah, like with some other heavy guys in the tournament today, these guys are half their weight, right here. <laughs> uh, wow. So fast. Kicking, and kicking back and punching around. Actually, round that is one. True. There was one guy who was winning 28 years. Yeah, yeah, right? That's right there. <laughs> oh. He's got that really good like right leg uh, middle kick actually. Mm. I like the way it's like deceptive because you can't really see it coming. It just like connects where it's supposed to. Mm. Really short like no more. Like, I gotta say the way it is his, his trunks. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the game plan. Yeah, yeah. Just get rid yeah. of the fringes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's not bothering Nini, or maybe it is, but Nini's, Nini's like really, really in his life too, because he, you know, he's got the whole cross thing, mm. podium that he stands on. Nice. Wow. See, this is what he's really, really good at. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Yeah. And, wow. Okay, for what he's doing. just tapping away at it, you know? From just like far enough away that yep. you know, Nini can't get him. Mm. And then he's just being busy enough that he never lets Nini get really started. Mm. I mean, Nini's still trying hard too, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, but you see, he, this is what he does really yeah. well to my guy. That's just... why I said sometimes I feel like he's like underestimated. Ooh. I mean, being the K1 oh. champion and everything, yeah. <laughs> I still feel like yeah. he's underestimated for some reason. Yeah. But he's actually really, really like clever, smart, fit, Definitely and tough. Fit. Yeah. And that was a nice uh, knee kick we ended off the round with. There in this uh, K1 featherweight match. Yeah. He's kind of a little bit like a Fukashi. Uh, you know Fukashi? I mean? Yeah. Fukashi yeah. does it differently though. Yeah. Because Fukashi comes in and he just like crushes you and never yeah. stops. Never right? stops, he comes but right at you. this guy, Tsubagi Yara, he does it like in an out style, mm. uh, out boxing kind of style, right? And he never stops. Same thing, yeah. just relentlessly keeps going. And every time like Nimi wants to start something, he's already like gotten hit somewhere, right? Yeah. Mm. Interesting how the mechanics of the fight. Oh. Yeah, you can never tell, you can never tell. Round 
So if you take a look at their fight records, for example, you know, yep. Tsubaki has got 12 wins and only three knockouts. Mm. Four defeats and one draw. Mm. Nimi's got 14 wins and six knockouts mm. and four defeats. So there's a lot of experience here. Yep. But, I mean, clearly Tsubaki has is not the guy to like knock off the people out off the right. <laughs> I just realized Tsubaki has only, like, I shouldn't say only, but he's 22. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't seem that way, right? He doesn't he seems older somehow. Yeah, yeah. An experience. Uh, he, he sure does have that. I mean, once you get used to watching him fight, and you understand his strategy, mm -hmm. as frustrating as it can be in the beginning, mm -hmm. then you can, you can also, like, learn how to respect the beauty of it. All right, all right, all right. Even with those uh, pants? No, I mean, <laughs> except for the pants. <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you earlier on was that, you know, I think it's deceptive that it doesn't, it, it, it seems like he's underestimated right. somehow. Yeah, you were saying that. Like his power, his punching power. Mm. But I think it, because he's got more strength than we really than we, mm -hmm. like understand here, yeah. that's why he's able to control his opponent uh, in the way he does it. So he does it. Because he must hit hard enough that the guy like, second questions himself. Like, can I go in or can I not go in? Right, right, you can see he's having a hard time figuring out where's the time he just starts uh, You see? Yes. And then he just like, uh, taps him. Is it hesitation? Yeah. It's an accident. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes, you know, these can get really dirty. Like, you could, like, cut your eye and stuff. Right. Eye actually, but, uh, around the yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. Stop the clock. Yeah. I mean, the right thing here, obviously, is to you know take the time it takes to yeah. recover. Why would you walk into a fight? Not yeah. 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 Okay, round two that was. Just for sheer control of the fight, mm -hmm. you know, this was, I'd say two rounds to Tsubaki Hana. So far? Yeah, I kid you not. That's so good. If I was a judge, I would definitely give that round to Tsubaki Hana. Yeah. Maybe the first one could have been a draw, but it's just controlling the fight. Yep. Here. Yes, they are part of the game. And the fight has some playback here. Boom! Yeah. Uh, there, there is power in this. Absolutely. Yeah, he has knockout power. It just doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, three out of 12. Well, three out, three out of 12. 17. 17. 17. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Segundo! Yeah. Segundo! Round three. Round three. Okay, the words. Nice. I love it. He doesn't take any damage either. He evades really, really well, he blocks really well. And dodges too, but he doesn't try to Wow. The other guy can hit. <laughs> He's not good to judge. <laughs> really bouncing around in the ring, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
ジャッジ、水谷。30対29。29。29。赤翼。ジャッジ、梅木。30対28。28。28。以上、判定3対0をもちまして、勝者赤コーナー。they should be gambling on this. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. But I can also understand why a lot of the fans maybe not find him the most attractive fighter. Ah, uh, um, right. I, yeah, because. just because, you know, it, sometimes it's frustrating to watch someone like do that. But what he does is, is really clever. It, it is, yeah. Very, very technical and, and consistent, I guess. Yeah. He's always doing it at the, at the right amount, which is a lot in his case. Yeah. He does a lot, yeah. And there's a trophy for this uh, K1 for the weight match. Taking a photo there with one of the sponsors. Mm. Yes. Nothing happened there. And I'm sure, you know, there's this potential he, he might have lost to Gunji last December, but definitely still got many, many years to go. Yeah. And a nice uh, silent screen there to all four sides of the ring. Well, that was another great uh, super fight there. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan K-Fister 5. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.